Hello and good morning. Welcome to Not Your Grandma's Opera. So for today's episode, I thought I would do an audition vlog. Just to kind of show everyone what I do on days of auditions. Um, so I do have an audition later today at 3. Right now it's about 9.30, somewhere around there. Um, I just woke up, so now I have to kind of drain my face because my sinuses just love to go nuts in the middle of the night. I also didn't sleep very well because of that guy right there. Hi, Diamond. She was fine. But that one, yesterday we had a little bit of a worrisome time with him. He threw up twice after eating, so I was pretty worried. But he ate a little bit before bed and then fell asleep. But around, oh, I don't know. Three o'clock, he woke me up, and he wanted to cuddle, and that was fine, but then he asked to be let out of my bedroom, and, well, Fiki, you're like, no, he's getting in my lap, um, and then he, um, you can just look at Diamond, she's so cute, huh, Diamond, and then he proceeded to go and play the piano at, like, four o'clock in the morning, so, that was my night not so fantastic huh but yeah so now the next step is well I have to feed these two and then after that I'm gonna take a shower and then I will show you what happens next okay so here we go breakfast of champions right here um, I live the keto lifestyle so I'm not like super crazy strict about it but when I'm at home I am but if I like go out or whatever then I'll eat carbs but anyway, so this is what I usually eat for my first meal of the day. I have four slices of bacon, uh, a little piece of sharp cheddar, and then I have Greek yogurt, Faye Greek yogurt with strawberries and blackberries, and I sweeten it with a little bit of Splenda. And then I have my coffee, which I have like two shots of espresso in there, and some heavy cream, and then Splenda. So yeah, now I'm just trying to eat my breakfast, relax, gonna watch... A little bit of Hell's Kitchen. So I'm just going to try to relax before my audition now. So I just finished warming up. I'm not going to do all my warm-ups, but I'm going to show you a little bit. I like to, what I like to do, at least. Um, so I like to start with just some kind of buzzing. Just and then I like to do some sirens. Just... I like to kind of really start my singing with coloratura just because coloratura is very difficult for me. And so this one goes. Okay, so after that, I kind of like to get my make sure my core and my high notes are in check. So I do this. So I go, oh, yes. and I kind of sit on that, the high note, until I feel really connected. It's vibrating, it's spinning, it sounds good. Now, lastly, what I like to do is um, I tend to have an issue with overblowing my chords. I do this exercise. It's basically a mouth trumpet. It's really to just kind of thin out my vocal cords so that they're not just like, Wah! so I go, yeah, 
Ja, 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 ja. Then after that, I usually feel pretty warm. Um, sometimes if I'm in the mood, if I feel like I need to, I will start with the first song that I'm starting with. And I can actually kind of show you what's going on in my music. I am starting with 2K Jail from Turndo. So let me flip. So this is my binder I have all ready to go. So this is what I'm starting with. I bring five. And you get to pick your first one. And then they pick the rest. So what else do I got in here? I have somewhere from West Side Story. They are doing West Side Story. I'm auditioning for it. So I figured might as well add that. I also am bringing Porgia Moore from The Marriage of Figaro. This is Du Bister Lentz from Die Valkyrie. And then my last piece is Signore Ascolta also from Turandot. So yeah, I'm not going to really go over anything because I don't want to tire my voice out before the actual time because that would be terrible if I just, you know, was singing this whole time, sound great, and then get there and I'm like, oh. so I'm kind of done for now. Now I'm going to start getting ready for the actual audition. Okay, so I am ready for my audition. I'm going to show you um, the makeup that I used real quick. Okay, okay so I used... Lorelac unzipped palette. I only use, of course now everything's falling. I only used this color because I needed like a light color to put all over my lid. Then for the rest, I used the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral. I absolutely love this makeup company. It's probably one of my favorites. It's just, ugh, the colors are so good and so affordable. So for my crease, I used, let me like actually point. I used, what did I use? I used this color, this one, and then this one to kind of create a smoky effect. And then on my lid, I used mostly this and then just a tiny, tiny bit of that. For my foundation, I used Studio Mac Fix. Oh, I also used um, a primer. I use this one. I usually use pri I use primer for um, because my face, my skin on my face is very sensitive. That's really the only reason I use it. And then I contoured with the Smashbox. What palette is this? Holidays Contour Slash Plus Spotlight Palette. And it's hard to do one-handed. Jesus, things falling. Okay. So for my contour, I mixed these two. And then I highlighted a little bit with this one. I used the, the Milani Powder Blush in Love Potion for my blush. And then I used Morphe, their high impact highlighter in Spark. This color is like my new favorite. I, oh, I'm obsessed with it, it's so gorgeous. It's like this champagne -y, rosy, it's just so pretty. And then I used a little bit of eyeliner. I just used my Wet n Wild Color Con. And then I used this for my mascara. I'm not too big a fan of this one. I really like the Maybelline Falsies, but they didn't have it, so I thought I'd buy the Colossal. It's okay. I feel like it just makes my lashes a little clumpier than I would like. So I'm using it until it's gone, basically. And then for my lip, I did... a. Uh, Kat Von D in Lolita. This is probably one of my favorite lip colors ever. I love a good nude lip. It's my favorite. So that is the color I used on my lip. Now I'm wearing a dress that I got at Tord. Oh, my mirror is filthy. So yeah, that's kind of now how I'm ready. I also have some earrings on. My boyfriend gave me these for Valentine's Day. I think they're super cute. They are a statement enough but they're also simple enough that it goes great for an audition and now I do have to mention one more thing because singers need to know about this okay especially female singers who wear Spanx I will I wear Spanx I do I love Spanx but I found like the perfect Spanx and I know it's gonna sound like product placement it's not I promise because I don't know these people but I love I love the Spanx the I am wearing Skims Spanx now 
The reason I love them so much and recommend them for all singers is that they are comfortable to sing in. They hide everything that you want to hide and they stay up and they're comfortable. They do not put any pressure on your abdomen, which is what we don't want because then that'll affect our abdominal, mu abdominal muscles while we're singing. So I would definitely recommend these Spanx. So now I'm ready to go. So I am at the audition location right now. I am super early. My audition is at 3.08 and it is 2.43. Um, but you know, that saying in the theater, it goes, if you're 15 minutes early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. So, and if you're late, you don't got a job. That's kind of how it works. So I prefer to be early anyway. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Another tip, never wear your shoes to travel in. Always bring them. I learned this very early on. It's a very big tip because your feet will think will be in so much pain if you don't and you don't want to be in pain during the audition. Oh, I'm a little nervous. So I'm just kind of like rambling on now, but we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty confident in all my pieces. So we'll see. So I'm done. I sang to Giddy Gel and then they asked for somewhere from West Side Story since they are doing West Side Story. So I think it went well. I feel really good about it, oddly. I kind of went in there going, eh, if they don't like me, too bad, whatever. You know, it is what it is. But I do feel really good about it. Uh, 2K felt really, really good. My high B flat felt really good. And then somewhere felt really good as well. But I've done somewhere for such a long time, so it's kind of like me. But yeah, no, it felt pretty good. So now we just have to wait and see, and I'll probably forget about it and then hear about it later. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, this kind of vlog that I did for um, audition day and what we kind of go through. And if you like what you see, please click like, please share the video, and of course, please subscribe. Have a good day. I have to say the best thing about coming home after my audition is this face right here. I know I said goodbye already, but I just had a show. This adorable little face, Diamond. Hi, baby. Are you happy to see mama? Oh, yeah, you're so happy. I love you, my little baby.